What's up YouTube? How you guys doing today? Hope everybody's having a great new year out there. Today I'm going to kind of go over my Funko Pop haul from the last month. Um, I picked up quite a few. Um, they are lines that I particularly like um, and pops that I wanted. So, But there's quite a few of them. So I wanted to go ahead and go over those with you. And uh, you guys let me know what you guys think down below afterwards. Um, so first off I got a line of pops of about... Oh, I'd say seven pops that are all from the same line and then I've got a few off here and there so I'm gonna go uh, the line I'll do last and I'll go over some of the single pops that I got and we'll go from there so first up off of my list is Reaper from Overwatch um, I've always wanted a Reaper um, just didn't come across one until just recently so this is not anything special this is from the Overwatch series uh, just regular old Reaper so we'll get him out so you guys can see him. But I think he's a really cool character in Overwatch. I really do enjoy this character quite a bit. So Reaper. Now they do have a like a blizzard one that you can get, but that's been sold out for quite some time. But I really, really think he is really, really cool looking. With his guns and his black overcoat there. Just a really well done pop. So there is Reaper from Overwatch. And hopefully some of these will stand up. This table isn't the best, but we'll go from there. Alright. So, next up I picked up one from the Bombshells line. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. And it is Hot Girl. And this is, there's two different ones. There's a regular Hot Girl, a uh, Hot Girl, and then the uh, uh, Hot Topic exclusive one. This is, just happens to be that exclusive. The Bombshell line is one of, one of my favorite lines. Um, I certainly don't have them all. Um, I'm not pressed to get all of them right now. I'm just getting them as I can. Because um, God knows, I just don't have the... It takes me a month just to get what I got, so. Alright, so here is Hot Girl. This again, this is the Hot Topic exclusive. And really cool, she's got the uh, jetpack that looks like wings on the back. I think that's really cool looking. And like the old style jetpack. She's got handlebars in the front there. So overall, just a really, really cool looking pop. Definitely need to get more of this line. I really like this line of bombshells. I'm glad that they did them. So, there we go with Hot Girl. Alrighty. Up next is from one of my favorite uh, shows that, uh, lately on Netflix. Uh, that is a Box Lunch exclusive. And this is 11, but this is like the punk style 11. So, this comes from the second line of Stranger Things Pops. But I definitely wanted this one. I've got like several 11s behind me. And uh, definitely this was high on my list to get. There's a couple I don't have yet still. But this one was definitely high on my list to get. So, get her out so you guys can see her. But this is the Punk Style 11. She's definitely got the Ego Box still still there. She's definitely got the nosebleed that's still there. The difference in this one is her hair is all slicked back. And she looks like she's just all in her Punk Style gear. Which was really cool to see. Uh, just a different side of her. So I definitely like that. So there's 11. Alright, next up, let's do one of my, from Pop Rock series, um, this is uh, one I definitely wanted, this is from the Grateful Dead, it's Jerry Garcia. So, Jerry Garcia, I love the Grateful Dead, um, definitely love that music, that type of music. Uh, in general, I still listen to it to this day. 
even though my kids make fun of me sometimes. But, you know, I grew up with it, so. Here we go with some Jerry Garcia. I think they overall did very, very well capturing him. And if you never got to see them in concert, you definitely missed out because they were wonderful. So I love how the sunglasses on. I just very, very cool overall done pop. So I had to get a Jerry Garcia pop. Definitely. So Jerry Garcia. All right. Next up uh, is from a line that I normally don't get, but I do love, love, love. So I got a couple of these. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. This is Sonic with Ring. So I don't know about you guys, but the, Sonic was one of my favorite games uh, when I was younger. Um, on the good old Sega Genesis. Let's get Sonic out here. So he is really, really cool looking. So he's actually, they got a couple different Sonics. This one is the one he's actually got the ring, he's holding the ring in the back. So that's, that's why they call it Sonic with ring. But I think he's just an overall very, you know what, the, this Sonic fits the pop mold. Um, the way they do him and everything, he just fits. Because he was small and he had a big head. So, I mean, it just, the character overall fits the pop mold very, very, very well. So, there's good old Sonic. Alright, and then, of course, I had to get Shadow with K.O. And this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, they do have a regular Shadow that is not a Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, the so other Sonic that they have is with Emerald, so here's the back of the line there. So, very cool that they uh, definitely came out with some more Sonic Pops. Uh, I missed out on the original run of Sonic, so I do like this. And again, like I said, these characters from Sonic fit the pop mold extremely well extremely extremely well so the black and the red just kind of pop on this figure very 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 well the shoes are awesome looking and of course so very cool all right so those are the six off uh, off the line pops that I that I picked up so the next seven here are actually all one line and that is from the Masters of the Universe series. Uh, if you guys know I'm a huge Masters of the Universe uh, kid. I grew up with that in the 80's. I loved it. It was by far one of my favorite series growing up. So when they came out with these runs of pops I just had to get them. So we'll go ahead and start off here. First up I picked up Orko. And again, the line on the back, kind of a spoiler there, because I, I picked up all of those. So, I had to get this line. This is one of my favorite lines. There's a few, few um, ones that I am missing that are uh, kind of like the um, specials, like the uh, I Need the Faker still from Target, but it's a Target exclusive, and I also need the um, Chase Mermaid, Chase Merman, excuse me, which is a different color than the regular. So here's good old Orko. I think he did pretty, I think he did a good transfer over to a pop because uh, he looks just like the character. So there's good old Orko for you. All right, next up we go with one of the um, bad guys, which is Evil Lynn. Okay. And we'll 
little paparazzi. She does come with a stand, which is good. Now most of these, I do keep them in their um, in their boxes. However, it's not that I keep them in the boxes for any particular reason other than space. Um, if I had the space to have a separate place for boxes and then put these guys out on display without their boxes, I would do so. Um, but it's particularly just to the fact that I don't have room to keep the boxes and the pops both and I so that's the only reason I do and people ask me well just throw the boxes away well you know the boxes have the art on them I kind of like them so I don't want to throw them away that's just how I feel about it so there is Evil Lynn now I'm actually hoping to keep this line that I got out of the box I got a I kind of cleared off a space for them over there so I'm going to kind of keep these out because I think these just fit well outside of the box. And I kind of want to show them off. So, there is Evil Lynn. Alright, next up we have one of the good guys. We have Stratos. And the line on the back is the same. This is all from the same, like I said, the same line of pops. So, but this gives you kind of a closer detailed look at them. So here's Stratos. The, the colors are just awesome on this guy. And like I said, I grew up with these characters. I really, really hope they dive. I, I know this sounds funny, but I hope that Funko dives into the more... Um, Ob obscure characters of He-Man. Uh, in the later years, they started coming out with some really, really weird characters. Um, I would love to see some of those weird characters come to pop form. So, there are Stratos. No, there we go. Alright. Next up, we have everybody's favorite villain. This is Battle Armor Skeletor. Good old Skeletor. He could come up with some mean insults. And he was always surrounded by idiots, according to him. So the colors on this guy is really, really done really well. Um, the purple just kind of flash. Um, I mean, he's kind of like a glossy purple hood. My camera probably ain't going to do him much justice, but he is good. He, is, he, looks, he looks really, really cool. And he's actually got the battle armor on the front there. If you guys remember, if you had, the, had him as a kid, um, if you hit the chest, the chest kind of did a circle around there. So I think that's really cool looking. So good old Skeletor. All right. And... Next we'll pick out of here is Beastman, and I don't have the Flock Beastman, um, there was a Flock Beastman that was on Funko's website and he just sold out ridiculously fast and I was unable to grab him. I would love to have a Flock one, I think that would be super cool, but nonetheless we got Beastman. Um, he was probably one of my favorite villains. And he man so and he's got that nice orange that pops with his whip there so yeah he would make an awesome so whoever got that flock be, uh, beast man if you got him man I, I'm sure he he's pretty pretty nice because he would be awesome having a flock version of him so there is beast man all right. Next up, we have again this. I this guy has a chase version of him, which is blue. I just have the regular one right now, and that is Merman. So again, I would love to get the uh, chase version of him. He um, the chase version is blue.
And they did this also, the, they did this line in um, Dorbs as well. Um, and I have a few of the Dorbs. Um, I do have him as a Dorbs. And again, he does have a Chase version of the Dorbs, which is blue as well. So, but there's Merman. I like, I like his yellow and green. It really kind of stands out quite a bit. Good old merman. Mer -mer -mer -mer. Alright, so he may have trouble standing up. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be my one that's probably the, has the issues of standing. Alright, so alright, so I know this video's been long guys, and I do hope you enjoyed this uh pop haul. But last up we have Battle Armor He Man. <laughs> and that this finishes up the line so I did get the whole regular set of this um, again there are some exclusives I have not gotten um, don't know if I'll be able to hunt them down or not now He-Man actually does come with a stand which is really cool as I drop him to the floor but here is he-Man, Battle Armor, He-Man. Again, he has the chest, um, the middle of his chest, where if you hit it, if you guys remember as a kid, if you hit it, it flipped around to be battle damaged. That's why they're calling him battle damaged, if anybody had any curiosity on that. So, I had these figures, I had figures as a kid for He-Man, all sorts of figures. And I, I wish I still had them. Um, it's the only bad part, when you were a kid, you didn't expect that collecting this stuff would be so much you would have miss what you had as a kid and I definitely do um, I had quite a few quite a few of these guys so, right, so we got one put in and alright there we go alright so that's really cool that he comes with a stand so there is your battle damage he-man so very cool, and like I said, I've got a nice little shelf for them. I'm going to try to keep these ones particularly out of the box because I think they're so cool looking. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. So that is a total of like, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pops for last month. Um, it was kind of a big month for me again. This uh, And the only reason was is particularly because of the He-Man line. Uh, I, I that was one I definitely wanted so let me know what you guys think down below hope you guys had a happy new year and I'll see you guys real soon have a good one bye bye